Hey boys and girls, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. So, Bass Champs, ah, got her teeth kicked in. Tried to fish deep, but you're gonna, if you look at the results, the guys who normally catch them deep, Brian and Danny had 11 pounds. Uh, ben Masubu uh, didn't weigh his fish. Uh, uh, even really good deep and shallow guys, Ricky Guy didn't weigh his fish. I mean, the, uh, uh, Derek Mundy, who caught 40 pounds a week before, didn't weigh anything. This was a strange tournament, and it all goes back. And we're and actually, I'm, we're going to do a video about this. This all goes back to the fact that when that water's rising, something weird happens on those deep offshore fish. So we're going to get to that in just a minute. A couple of reminders. So this weekend is the first South Division Bass Champs tournament. That's down on Falcon. Remember, South Division guys, there's two thousand bucks for the highest finishing Spark customer in the top ten uh, at that event. Nobody won it at Rayburn. So now for the second East Division Rayburn event, 4000 bucks for the top finishing Spark customer in the top 10. Tenth place in this last tournament was 1300 bucks. If the tenth place person is the highest finisher and a Spark customer in the next tournament, add four grand to that. This is getting rich fast. Still only a few guys have signed up in the, in the East. I don't know yet if anybody signed up in the South. So this should be easy pickings and easy money for somebody. And remember, five grand rolling into the championship as well. So two grand up for grabs this weekend at Falcon for top 10 finisher that's a Spark customer. Now 4,000 in the East Division. Uh, remember, and I talk about it in this video, if you catch an eight plus in this tournament, make sure and weigh that fish if you're a Spark customer and turn it in. All we gotta do is send a screenshot to Cheryl, Un Cheryl Unker and that they say will approve you. If you're approved there, an eight pounder's worth 250, a 10 pounder's worth 500, a 13 plus, which somebody weighed in the first tournament's worth an extra thousand bucks of spark money if you're a spark customer. This is a great deal and this is gonna catch fire because uh, the money's getting serious. On top of that, I, I teased y'all about this the other day. Starting two weeks from next Tuesday, we're gonna start giving away 250 bucks a week and you don't even have to be a Spark customer. All you got to do is go down below in the description. Uh, it should be live tomorrow, sparkfishing.com, but there's a bigger link down below that I know is already alive that if you click on that link, all you got to do is register. Give them your name, your email address, where you live. You're registered for that drawing. They gave us $250 per week. So since we're going to miss the first two weeks of January, we're going to do two $250 drawings. And I think maybe even to the next week. We'll get back on schedule, but, but that would be, let me look at the date. So on Tuesday, January 26th, whatever group of guys that registers, and I'm gonna say you probably need to be registered by Friday because there's a rant, they have a random drawing system they use, a computer program that draws from those names. We're gonna give away 500 bucks, two 250s, that Tuesday the 26th, and the following week, which will be February the 2nd, we'll do it again, we'll give away 250 again two times man they're wanting to support us because they're wanting us to support them so this is uh this is a sponsorship i think unlike any other in the country it's an it's a uh, it's a thank you to their customers and it's them trying to get new customers and i, I think we're going to make it really successful for them and for us as well so that's there uh, let's go talk and now by the way this may be one or two parts i'll post right there whether it's one or two parts because I have footage from Saturday in the Bass Champs and I also have footage from Sunday in the sleet and the ugliness. And I also did some stuff. Some guys had asked me some questions about some of the software I used on to, to make my video. So I've included that in this as well. So it'll be one or two piece. If it's one piece, it'll all be today. And if it's two pieces, I'll post it today and I'll post the second part probably Saturday morning. So here we go. Let's go check out the fishing. Good morning, boys and girls. So it's Saturday morning. January 2021, Bass Champs Tournament here on Rayburn. And the fishing with Mr. Terry Hawkins in the front of the boat. So, uh, it's cold this morning. It's 33, 34 degrees coming up the lake. You know, seeing what we've seen here last weekend with the 40 pounds, and last year with the 40 and then the 49 pounds, uh, we felt like we had some shallow fish we could catch, but uh, 
something in the high teens, low 20s. So we made the decision to start out here deep on some stuff. And it's a spot we really haven't caught them on yet this year. Been a few bites out here, but we started out here and right off the bat, Terry caught a little old football jig fish, this fish right here. And then a couple minutes later, he caught another one that's just a keeper. And then I've had two bites on a Carolina rig. I didn't catch either one of them, both of them took part rush hog and it's uh probably about 8 30 i think we're fixing to go run some shallow fish and see what we can find so uh you know we we had hoped we could pull up out here and catch a couple of great big ones and that's what you got to do i mean you can't come out here trying to catch 18 20 pounds and think you're going to do much in one of these anymore and not at least on rayburn in january february so we started out here and it didn't pay off, but we got a long day in front of us. We don't wait till 320, so we'll run some shallow stuff, see if those fish want to bite. Unfortunately, it's starting to slick off, and Rayburn gets tough when it slicks off, so there's every chance we'll be back out here later in the day, but I think it's time for us to go run some shallow stuff, so let's see what we can do. So we just realized that it's 3.03 and if we took off now we could get back but we've got nothing. I mean we've got, we might have 11 pounds. We just did not get a quality bite. This is the first time fishing the shallow grass this year or this year, let's say in the last month that I hadn't caught at least a four or five pound fish and most days multiple fish. But it just didn't happen. The day slicked off, the water got pretty cool and the water's come up. And we tried to start out deep and we're back deep now, but we started out deep, caught a few fish, went shallow, caught a few fish, come back out here deep, caught a few fish, but we never had a decent bite today. So we had fun. Weather was really nice. You know, Rayburn's one of those places where you don't want the wind to blow, but you don't want it to be slick either because it can get really tough. But we're going to turn our fish loose out here because there's no sense in weighing them. The only way we could get a check is the conservation bonus. And we're going to drive back at a speed that will be very comfortable versus racing down there and live to fight another day. Unless one of us catches a 10 pounder on this cast. So that's my Raven report. Water come up, so some guys have asked. So the water's come up, I think it's about two feet low now. 
The water temp today was start of the day at 50.5 on that main lake point. What's it up there right now, Terry? I just shut it off. Uh, it was 53? Yeah, earlier it was. Yeah. So we saw some 54 in some sh one of my shallow spots we went through, but water's cold, water's coming up, conditions are going to keep changing. I'm going to bet you guys somebody still caught 30 pounds today, maybe more, you never know. I know the 40 pound stringer, there were a couple of guys that were going to probably try to fish that because two different guys found those fish and I would imagine they had to split them. But let's go, uh, let's go check it out and see what I got weighed today. I'll be interested to see.